Oh, hello everyone, welcome back to By the Rise of Afterbirth Plus. I thought I'd mix it up a little bit. Just spent an hour playing a polyon. Um, this recording is immediately afterwards, immediately afterwards, so my throat's a bit dry, I've run out of water. Uh, I thought we'd mix it up a little bit, we won't play a polyon, there's a lot to do. Look at the state of that, that postcard, it's all wrecked up. So, we've got some interesting things uh, completed on that carriage, so we're not going to do that. <coughs> Excuse me, I thought we'd play uh, a greedier mode, which we played on the stream, and if I've done this in the right order by the time you get to see it, uh, that will already be on YouTube before this is. Uh, interesting. But I thought we'd play, this is hard mode greed, basically, and it is hard. It makes me think, actually, the first thing we say is HP, good idea, thank you game. You have made me a happy man. Ah, uh, okay. I think we just start. I'm not... I feel, I really feel like I should be doing better with my reroll here because it's going to be very... Oh, that was just terrible. Very advantageous for us. Where are you? Please. I need to kill you faster so that we can get rid of you. I think... Ah, oh, it didn't happen. Uh, does this actually hurt? No, okay. We have learned that these things do not hurt, so you don't need to be too scared of them. But, they don't... They won't go away! And these uh, little monsters are super annoying. I'm glad I picked up that extra HP. Yeah, I'm really thinking... With Isaac! Whenever you've got a multi-wave thing like... Um, boss Rush or Greed Mode, you really, really want to be min-maxing the, the way the charges work in order to... Get the, the best you can out of that. But, oh, we're stuck in the corner. Help! Uh, I think at this stage, this is really, really hard. Um, much harder than greed mode itself. I think you get less money. Look, we're getting like one coin per wave right here. It's a bad one. I was hoping it would be better, but it wasn't. We are literally getting one coin per wave because we are on the seventh wave. We've got seven coins, and I think it's bollocks. Yeah, one coin. So that is going to make it extremely difficult to actually acquire new items. It's also going to make it a lot harder to be um, for the D20s coming up to work. Well, I got killed by a dip, so there's the thing. Um, but as I was saying, you. Oh, fuck. I mean, it's the same upgrade, but I kind of hope for more. Um, in this situation, I think I'm just happy to. Right. It's another one of those ones where the better you get, the better you get. Look, those, I was literally not fast enough to do that. There better not be another one. Right? I didn't miss a single shot, and yet my DPS was not sufficient to get through the first wave. Now, we don't need to worry about taking damage. Especially not from that joker. Uh, uh, there's more? Pardon me? We do have this one bomb, which we can try and place a little bit more sensibly than previously. And, of course step on the button if we really wanted to, which may not be a terrible idea. Maybe just put a bomb here. Deal with that. Sort of passively, while everything else over here gets owned by moi. Oh, come on. I can't get to it, because these bloody jokers are in the way. There we go. So in the, uh, in the Apollyon episode, I didn't realise that those things don't actually hurt you. Only wave six. I'm gonna die. Can't. Can't step on the button. I think stepping on the button is important in this game. Uh, maybe we start re-rolling until we get something really, really good. How many spirit hearts is that one? Okay, not enough. <laughs> Although it is a very decent tiers upgrade. Since we're not getting more than one coin per wave, why would we? Um, why would we not press the button? Normally, the, the reward for not pressing the button is getting more coins. But we're not getting more coins, so we should press the button if we get overwhelmed. Which is actually not happening right now. This tiers upgrade has been a much better help than the uh, HP upgrades were on the previous couple of runs. Oh, that was bad. Says, and then immediately for something to prove how much he fails irrespective of any benefits that he could possibly be given by the game in this infinite benevolence and wisdom. I kind of want to discuss the uh, the ending that we saw after Delirium, but I don't really know what to say about it. There's a lot of Isaac having a panic attack in the chest. That seems to be 
know, a requisite part of the game. It's canon. You know, it's science. Isaac, Isaac has panic attacks and chest. Is that how it goes? Um, we got to see. I feel like my fire rate has gone down, but it really hasn't. We got to see um, a skeleton of Isaac being discovered by an unknown person. Uh, and there's a there's a big theme of not just voidness, uh, which there is, but in after plus voidness is a theme. In fact, it's a whole level. But what'd you do here? Oh, <laughs> you do that, man. I guess you go for the item that you can afford, but don't know what is. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's see what the damage downgrade is. It's pretty big damage downgrade, actually. If we can make up for it, I will be happy. Oh, this is the one that fucking heals itself whenever it does that attack, which is bullshit. Because you can't prevent it from doing that attack. That was... Even though that was a great shot, I'm going to be salty about it. This only produces these spiders. Um, we don't know who is discovering Isaac in chest. We know that Isaac dies in the chest there. Ow. You can't stop this, by the way. You can't stop the rock. 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 You do know this. Um, It seems that he has a panic attack. Watching his mum, watching the Christian broadcasts that convince her to chase him into the cellar in the first place. Basement. So then we see lots of drawings of Isaac on the wall. The Isaac's drawn, presumably. Uh, wherein he believes himself to be sort of hellspawn himself. He believes himself to be evil and bad. His mother must have told him these things in order to make him feel correct that. Uh, he, he needs to be eradicated in her uh, highest wisdom. I'm not going to step on this uh, devil deal button just yet. I think that would be folly. I haven't got enough money to buy something. But what? Maybe none of this. Also none of this. A clicker. Did we buy the tears upgrade? Unfortunately, it's not actually a... Uh... Wait, we can't get a tears upgrade because we're at full tears. It's really annoying. Honestly, these these particular versions of I think this is a pretty well balanced champion version of this enemy because the thing I hate about the other one is the constant spawning of spiders. Instead of the constant respawning of spiders, they're just constantly healing, so you focus one down, right? If that makes sense. It'd be nice if we knew which one was which. Uh, and then they do spawn these spiders, but these are sort of innocuous. Oh, what's into that one? Avoiding that one. That was really hard. Uh, innocuous. I like I like the rebalancing of Ragman there. Uh. <laughs> I'm tempted to just hold R. So we get something that we can care for. Have a pill. Well, it wasn't explosive diarrhea, but it sounded like it was going to be. Oh, we have a bomb. We're Isaac. Just key. Half price entry to that room. Which also gets us. Oh, I'm tempted to open that chest, but no. Uh, I think we take Capricorn of all things. It is all stats, which is everything that's. That is not all stats. That's several stats. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate the stats that did go up. But, at the same time. I feel a little bit undersold right now. Short sold. Anyway, uh, answers in the comments, please, about uh, some various discussions on the new ending. Uh, I'd very much like to hear people's opinions on that. Um, 
I would like to be able to attack this particular entity in order to prevent it from consistently spawning myriad enemies. Right, it's going to be annoying for the rest of the fucking rest of my goddamn life. I'm becoming overwhelmed, so I will press the button at my own cost. Um, which is fine because I got hit anyway, trying to do so. But uh, pressing the button is not such a bad idea anymore because you simply don't. I appreciate your loyalty to this fly. You don't get any any reward for not doing it. Basically, there's no reason not to do this because this could have money in it. it does. Such money. Now we only need to do two waves. This could have money. No, that's HP. And I'm kind of okay with that. It costs a lot more than I'd expected to. We spend above the odds on that because those keys cost 5 cents and red hearts cost 3 cents. Because these aren't, these aren't the sort of upgrades you expect to use on grief mode. So, thank you, but no thank you. Uh, okay, interesting. We buy Void. We take that. <laughs> God, what have I done? <laughs> We've already made it worse for ourselves. Okay. Um, every space bar item we want to buy and absorb, we can. <laughs> I mean, it's possible that I've just been not read the canonical canon about what what that ending means. Uh, but I'm sure there must be more than just um, just the content that we've seen. There must be more stuff. There's always hidden stuff in Isaac. Uh, and that is presumably relevant to it. This is going to be the last wave, so I don't think we're going to get overwhelmed. Unless it's a horrible wave. Which it kind of is. As long as you... Position yourself somewhat sensibly. I think you get through it okay. Type right behind the rocks is what I mean by that. And I wouldn't mind another all stats upgrade if you can find it in your heart to provide one game. Do you want to press this button though? That's the question. Million dollar question. Do you want to press that button? I think you do. You have enough HP. Oh, okay. We have enough HP to make it worth. Well, obviously we press that button. Um, that's the boss button. I somehow confused it for the uh, devil button. That's that's fine. This is a reasonably innocuous boss wave, although it does seem to have champion versions of all the enemies again. You can see how much harder this is, and I, you know, I'm I'm aware of how bad I am at the game, and you've all seen me try and play it. I feel like I'm ooh, that was close. I feel like I'm improving, but it's difficult to pay attention. There's a lot going on. It's a very, um, it's a very attention-intensive game. But we're about to get through this. The thing about picking up Void is currently it's still just the beast. Um, it's not going to do any other good stuff for us. But what we can do is void any particularly egregiously poor offerings in the uh, free item or indeed the one we pay for. If we pay five cents for a key and we discover that we really, really hate what's in there, we could at least re-roll it and then void it anyway. Uh, that's interesting because we could re-roll it into a spacebar item which we briefly get to see and then that becomes, oh, well then, that becomes part of our uh, Our void item, and then every time we use it, we, we don't know what it is. I obviously didn't think that through, but it was really funny, so I did it. There we go. Right, this is a do you press it button button. There is, that's 15 cents actually, so maybe we. Maybe we take the blue cap because it's another tiers upgrade. We're now on six. Tier delay of six. It's not all that bad. You just cut and pant over that's fine. This is a, a particularly inoffensive Mega Saiyan. Uh, 
to deal with the devil fight, even though I did get hit by that because I realised what was happening a little bit too late. <laughs> yeah, this um, greedier mode is turning out considerably harder than we expected. We did do it on stream, we beat it as Azazel because I wanted something easy to happen for once in my life. Uh, and it did turn out to be doable, just about, as as Azazel, uh, but I still found it extremely difficult. And I was fairly tipsy. I mean, I've been being fed whiskey for the whole stream. So it's not that expected that I would have a little bit of... Well, this is a shame. And the only reason it's a shame is because it's all amazing. Uh, but we spend more HP than we needed to. We could have held off on getting the blue cap and got some HP back, but minor details, don't worry about it. So we've got a reroll and an absorption if we don't like either of these, which I don't. So I've picked them both up. That that could be enough stats there to convince me that we only picked up uh, two unrerolled, either two unrerolled passive items or uh, to re re roll passive items, but I don't think we picked up a new space for right because we had enough stat upgrades to make me think that we got two normal items there. See, all of a sudden, this has become significantly easier. You left creep and I didn't even notice uh, because of the Abaddon. All you have really, really have to do is get through that first wave, and that's almost universally true. Especially when this one keeps producing bombs to beat the crap out of every subsequent wave. Uh, I super appreciate it. That was two pence. Two cents. Two penny. We don't know what these pills are. You know how we're saying maybe um, we don't need PhD? I could do a PhD. Excuse me. Addicted. Fine. Yes. Interested. Fine. Uh, don't know what the light bulb does. There's a bit of health. For 14 cents. We can't buy anything yet, but honestly, I think we're more inclined to re roll. So let's take a key. See what's in here. We want to absorb it. Uh, no, we will definitely take Rotten Baby because our tears are powerful and therefore our flies will be too. Remember, we have re rolls in our void item that we can use without absorbing anything, provided the things that uh, are available are still for sale and not on pedestals. So we can still use void to re roll the shop without fear of adding stuff to it that we don't really want, which it can happen. It's a lot of money. And I'm feeling pretty confident already just from the amount of power that we've got here. Uh, I wonder if it's worth spending 15 cents on 2 HP. It might be, especially since I'm about to press this button. Uh, being the let me sell my HP button. I think that only took half a half, so I'm okay. Please, Peep, stop being so difficult for my entire life. Will you? Peep is one of those enemies that I have yet to learn the path from. Even now. It's a. Uh, I think Peep was in the original game, and I still cannot do it. It's, these, uh, it's the shots when it lands. That's what gets me. I don't know which way they're going. Help! We're okay. We've done it. We're the best. Uh, yeah, okay. Just being afterbirth, we can actually take all of this. Uh, and now we are amazing and cannot be stopped. Let's see what's in here. Uh, a black card, okay. Uh, cost zero. This is suddenly gone from... Uh, what? Randomly exploded. Allowed us to access this, which I don't want. <laughs> but locked me in. Great. This has become an extraordinarily, power extraordinarily powerful run, and I am happy with it. Let's go down. That's what she said. Uh, come on, then. Let's let's just continue to rock and roll this. That's a damage upgrade, but it's not a very good one. I'll take the spirit heart cautiously because I feel like it's a trap. Um, yeah, okay. We're gonna have to. Oh, proptosis as well. 
you know what? I'm just going to take this. We don't have uh, an absorption on it, and it is, in the strictest sense, a damage upgrade. So I will take it. Did I already beat that wave? Did I already beat that wave? No, these waves are ridiculously short. You can tell when you've beaten a wave because any invincible enemies will disappear. Provided that they are the sort that disappear. You know, that any enemies predicated on you beating all the other enemies will do the thing that they do when you beat all the other enemies. We are getting a stack of cash all of a sudden. You see how this is the same as with other greed mode. Like, it's normal. This is greedier mode, right? I'm not going completely crazy. It must be because it's really hard. Um, once you once you start popping off, popping off the top of this top of this, another water dwelling mammal from Africa that moves to the metropolis to learn how to break dance. Sorry, where did you get that preposterous hypothesis? Did Steve tell you that? Kind of a rappy name is Steve anyway. Uh, do I want? I have no syringes so far, so no, I do not. Uh, I'm not re-rolling, but I will buy Skinny Osmo. Now we have got a stupendous rate of fire. And we are roasting. Please roast blokes so that I can feel good about myself. Yeah, good. Might have to spend some HP here, but it could be Krampus. It is Krampus, that's exactly what I want. Thanks. Uh, and it's a lump of gold, which is a damage up. It doesn't say it's a damage up, because... It doesn't is down. Well, whatever. Feeling pretty strong that this could turn out to be standard hubris and we might get our arses handed to us in the uh, the next couple of floors here. We have seven cents, which is actually enough to buy... Oh, fucking hell. Now we've got... Our fire rate is now lower than five, which is usually the cap as far as I can tell. I'm not taking missing no. No, no, no. I shall not. You cannot make me. It's against all things that I hold to be good and true. Uh, so is that. So, who cares? Um, let's get a reroll and... It's producing multiple waves at once. So this is the thing I was complaining about at some other point recently. Probably on the stream when I was doing this. These enemies that... Um have invincibility until they choose to allow you to choose them. Really sucks for greed mode, which is itself predicated on you getting through the waves quickly. So you're like beating a crap- oh shit. <laughs> oh this is the world of hurt. So I'll get back to what I was saying in just a moment. Um, We picked up- we re-rolled I didn't want Sister Maggie, for obvious reasons. So I absorbed it, but I re-rolled it before I absorbed it. It re-rolled into a spacebar item, which was Dead Sea Scrolls. Dead Sea Scrolls produces a random spacebar item every time you use it. it produces the effect of a random spacebar item every time you use it. Relax. So I could get some coins out of that. Uh, so now, whenever we use our spacebar item, Whenever you use our spacebar item, we also use whatever Dead Sea Scrolls is going to give us. I don't think I want the safety. I think I'll take this. A range upgrade uh, with Proptosis is extraordinarily good. So we know that we're not going to have to deal with Krampus. Which means we're likely to have to pay for something right now, but I'm basically counting on it being, well, something awesome. Does Pentagram give you HP? I don't think it does. But is this a stupid idea? Yes. But now we can fly. And we will occasionally have invincibility. Oh, that gives you HP. Oh, there you go. I got that. Destroy all that. Mind out for the shots. It's a good thing it paused just after the shots spawned so I can see that they were happening. This would have been a better room to haggle at, but never mind. Uh, this is going okay. But if you watch the stream, or the upload of the stream, you know how horrible it's going to get. Uh, bad idea. Now we can't find <laughs> Just don't do that. This is 
gonna get very hard. Very difficult. The range is range nice. up. Right, okay. Uh fine. We're gonna have to fight down to the uh, this is bullshit by the way. I accidentally stepped on the spike because I can't see because of my own fucking tears. It's brilliant. Uh continue. The um the Ultra Grief Sprite is gonna get ludicrous. I guarantee it. Please, before you do anything. Oh, we're the winners. If we can beat Sister's Fears without really breaking the sweat, I think we should be okay. But we really have to pay attention on the uh, Ultra Grief fight these days, which is not something I'm historically any good at doing. Alright, that's some cash flow. So stop firing so you can see. Um. One more cent, please. <coughs> I'm innocent. No, we'll buy a key. So. We absorbed a really good item, <laughs> fortunately. We did get our, um... oh wait. That flips a coin, okay. That's interesting. So, this has proven to me but what actually happened was we absorbed wooden nickel. Does that make sense? Because when we when we used our item, we got a scent. So that means we probably did not absorb Dead Sea Scrolls. Please have popped oh, okay. a fire that had a spirit heart. Sell our HP. Can't be fucked. Ah, I was hoping to sell it back so that an uh, empty vessel would come back into life, but we have one more opportunity for that to work in our future. Let's just head down. Coins. Did get one. So that's nice. I mean, any coins we can go down to the next floor with, above and beyond the price of a key, super helpful. Uh, in this case, of course, it doesn't help. There's no. No item room to get into. No enemies, please. A couple of bombs probably do help, especially since it's a tinted rock of against all odds. Uh, with a... Okay. Didn't expect that. Uh, infamy is probably going to be quite helpful. I am very much appreciative of this uh, turn of events. We don't know our HP, which is very upsetting. Um... I want to buy the spirit heart. We are going to get a reroll. For too long, because it's well, straight away, apparently. I mean, we're almost unstoppable. I'm feeling okay about these waves. What I'm not feeling okay about is getting down to the Ultra Greek fight and having to survive the, the new two phase version of Ultra Greek. Here's another one of those ones where it's um, <coughs> a little bit, excuse me, can we talk about how the fact that this is on a timer and you're hanging around in the ceiling? Right, so we'll take this cash. We will re-roll these. I don't really want that. <laughs> Range and luck? I don't think luck's going to help us. He is not going to help us. Let's just keep buying the spirit hearts. In fact, you know what? Let's just stock up on spirit hearts. We have managed to get a decent enough run, I think. But I'm not particularly concerned about our ability to win. <coughs> As mentioned, up to the green point. At which point, I am terrified. Please, where are you? Okay. So we should be able to deal with this. Oh my god, it instantly saved me when I was in my hour of greatest need. I know the other one is still alive. Right. Oh, you fucking dick. Bullshit. Uh, sure. It gives us empty vessel back, which is what I really care about. 12 cents, buy the spirit hearts, go down to the next floor, show everybody who's watching what happens. 
in this situation. Oh, check the sense. Not, uh, not enough. But, this is half close. Well, we got some spiders. I was hoping for was more HP, uh, but we only spent half a heart on doing it. I'm pretty sure it's half hearts even now. I don't think it goes up to full heart. Yeah, we've got half. That's a lot of HP, actually. Uh, I think I'm okay with this. We just have to be able to... Okay. I'm having a lot of trouble singing. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So here we go. Ultra green. We've seen this. We know how this works. Uh, infamy saves us from all misdemeanors. We just beat the crap out of these coins that land. And we wait for all the, the benefits that come our way. The fucking... Did you see that? That's a spider. I didn't order a spider. Yes. Don't mate with the random coins. I don't like them. Sometimes they land on you. That's the worst. Thing. I can't see what uh, Ultra Green is doing. So I can't dodge any shots that come between it and me. We have invincibility thanks to Empty Vessel. Watch out for that though. It's about to go. I mean, nothing's lasting long. And I'm happy. I get hit, that's okay. If you get hit, you drop coins and greed will heal from those coins, so. Uh, don't get hit. <laughs> you can pick up the coins, of course, so. It's not like you have no uh, opportunity to avoid them. You landed on me! Fucking bullshit. I was gonna say we have permanent Polaroid invincibility, but of course we don't have the uh, empty vessel. This is why I wanted to sell my HP, which is why I took that last Guffy item. Oh, we ran out. We took that last Guffy item, even though it didn't really help us with the Guffy transformation, because having an uh, empty vessel is extremely useful right now. Literally have no idea what's happening. There's a spider in there. Wandering around like it owns the place. Ah! Right. Okay, done. Except... Boom. So this is the hard part. Use this uh, invulnerable period. I believe this stage has less HP, but everything it does is brimstones and explosions. So you stand sort of here. I don't know how I did this after all that whiskey. Even with a Zazzle. Okay. I guess it sort of stops shooting every now and then. Until it... okay. I I'm finding that that pattern involves Okay, the explosions follow where Greed jumps, so just get out of the way of it. And now's our opportunity to uh, die horribly. Look. I don't know where you are, Greed. I don't need to because I'm a bit. Get all the damage done with that bubble around you, <laughs> and then hide when it starts flashing. Literally no idea what's happening over there. Any information you can give would be greatly appreciated. Keep doing that. You have to do that. Where have you gone? Oh my god. I failed to get hit there somehow. As if getting hit was the goal. How do you avoid these explosions? I have no idea. Oh, that hurt. Good stuff. We're invincible. Oh god, this is the fight for our lives right here. It's literally my last vestiges of life versus Green's last vestiges of life. I'm really not quite sure how one is supposed to avoid the ceiling bomb. Especially when that shit is happening. He fired at me and I was lucky enough that it was a... Uh... Oh my god, he did it. I was lucky enough that it was a quad shot and not a triple shot. The D1 has appeared in the basement. Uh, I understand. He said the not me, because I didn't. What happens if we fill this up again? Uh, we'll never find out. Well, that was a complete success. Uh, as mentioned, that's an extremely difficult thing. Um, we have to do that as the Keeper and the Lost. So, 
look forward to those episodes. Uh, but for now, thank you for watching this one, and I'm sure I'll see you in the future. <laughs>